Where I am is the most sought after surf destination in the world. And somehow I accidentally ended up here. So here's the story. I ended up in Norway with zero planning and definitely wasn't ready for the cold. A super sweet girl I met from the internet let me borrow her clothes for the week, which saved my life. Then I saw the map. Norway's coastline is massive, so why not surf the Arctic, right? At the end of the day, it is a surf channel. Found myself at the northernmost surf shop and ended up surfing there. And that's how I ended up surfing one of the most remote, bucket list surf spots on Earth. morning from Oslo. It is 4 a.m. right now and I'm trying to catch a flight. I am trying to be really quiet because I'm staying in a hostel. We are flying to Lofoten today and it seems like there's a little swell for the weekend. The cheapest flight I could get was flying to Evanes and then after that I will need to get a ride. But that's something we should worry about after we get there. Back at the airport grind. I just got to the airport and I met up with Shannon. Like you mean, I'm gonna get a ride with him to get to Lofoten. <laughs> First time in Norway? Yes. You don't sound Norwegian, are you? I'm not Norwegian. <laughs> I'm from South Africa. No, really? Yeah, I'm South African. That's why you're okay with the West suit here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, I'm turning from China. You're coming from China? Yeah. <laughs> so nice. You travel a lot and surf and do. Lives. Yeah. Well, welcome to C and Shanna's road trip. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, eh? Yeah, so I used to live in Lofoten. Unstad is like being the best place to surf in the northern part of Europe for quite a while. It's, it's really beautiful. You have beautiful mountains in the background. So the backdrop when you surf is amazing. So, so I you will need, need gloves. I'd say a 5 4 boots and gloves. No, I never wear gloves and boots. That's no, crazy. That's exciting. <laughs> Thank you so much. Pleasure. Let's put them on that side there. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Itai. 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 Yeah. I'm Shannon. Nice to meet you. You're Shannon. And Shannon. See, nice to meet you. See, nice to meet you too. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Israel. I've got so many Israeli friends I try to convince to come to Norway, but no one wants to come to Norway. They all say it's too cold. <laughs> I was meant to have my surfboards with me, but they never came, so now there's extra space in the back. Man, <laughs> it is very complicated. I did travel with my girlfriend and her friend. They always just like try to hide where yeah. I'm from. Say Greece, say, uh, say something else. Yeah. Say but yeah, I mean, it's a sensitive topic, so I, I don't want to talk much about it. I just wanted to ask. Yes, I, I guess it's easier for me to say where I'm from. Those with women try to do it, it's yeah. more complicated for me. Okay, so here's the backstory. I just rented a car. It's kind of a very last minute rental, so it's kind of bad. You can see that this car got hit multiple times, but also like this is a lot more expensive than if I just rent it straight from the airport. And also now I have to figure out how do I get to the airport after I return this car. Now I have no way to get back to the airport. But anyway, we got a car. <laughs> this is insane. Wow. How can a place be this beautiful? Wow. I wish I rent a van now. I want to just live right on the street. This is so freaking beautiful. Don't breathe. My god, this tunnel looks so scary. Just because how rough it looks. This tunnel, they do not paved it. It truly made you feel like, yes, this mountain has been bombed. Oh my god, this car is so close to me. Fuck. The fuck? I can never see a tunnel like this in China. This is insane. I don't know how to process that. 
Oh my. This is crazy. No freaking way. This is so beautiful. I can't believe I see that. Imagine you live here and you drive through that every day. Wow. Oh, that gave me chills to be honest. That's just so cheap. That's so cute. Oh my. Oh, I want to hug the sheep. Honestly, now I want to put up the Zolo and see how much it costs to live here. The views there is just insane. Wow. There's more nature than human. We're truly living in heaven. Wow. So right now we're going to the surf shop to check if there's rooms available. Hi. So I just met a couple who were sipping coffee outside. They told me that the whole neighborhood only have about 14 people living here permanently. Like I can hear myself right now. Like I'm the only one talking. It feels like in this neighborhood. Hello. <laughs> this place looks so majestic. This look crazy, right? <laughs> no. Wait to see the waves. I hope it's breaking. Damn, I really traveled so far for this. Found it. Wow. This is so cute. Whoa, that wave is actually so freaking long. Oh my. That's such a long left. Oh my. Okay, we have to go. This place is so beautiful, it made me so happy. They said this is the calmest day they have. And this wind is perfect for surfing. <laughs> Welcome to Norway. First time surfing in the Arctic. That's crazy. What is it this side? Which one is the front? Oh my god, almost there. Damn, this is so thick. I never wore something this thick before. Okay. Oh no. It's in the zipper in my hair. Fuck. I don't know how this hook works. How does this work? Oh, oh my god, I'm so tired. Okay, I think I got it now. Now what do we do? Oh, okay, now I get it. Okay, now I'll do this. this. I got it now. The person behind the camera, his name is Anu. And turn out we actually worked for the same company before, even though we never met before. The world is just so small and thank you so much for taking videos of me surfing in the Arctic for the first time. I can't wait to show you the amazing waves here tomorrow. For now, let's enjoy the sunset together. Can you believe that this is my neighborhood? Like every day after surf, I get to walk this. I still cannot believe I just surfed the Arctic. Like an insane experience. I definitely think you should try it out. They call this the garden view, but to me, this is like million dollars view. I honestly have to stop myself from breathing so I know that this is real. Whoever lives here, like that 14 permanent people, you might be the luckiest people ever. Yeah. <laughs> so now let's get dinner. I'm starving today. All I eat is cheese and bread. Um, 
Thank God I brought shin ramen, so I'm excited. Yay. I will not be hungry tonight, so let's make some ramen. <laughs>